Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we figured we'd just film a little haul, a little collection of basically my broken no buy. So if you want to see our failures and our happiness, then just keep on watching. So we went to Ulta and Marshalls and Amazon. Um, so first I'll just show you our Amazon purchase. These are neon pigment, pigments. These are <laughs> neon pigments from Stargazer, the neon eye dust. We have this purple shade, this neon kind of like corally shade. I wonder if you can see absolutely any of these. Anyway, we got it in many a shade. We got it in lots of shades. So if you want to see some neon looks, uh, you can head on over to our Instagram. And if you want us to film a tutorial with them, let us know because they are really fun and I think they're great for spring and summer. Also, they're pretty inexpensive. They four were bucks. like $4. There is a caveat to them though. Um, also plays into the haul. Um, I had to get this NYX mixing medium because they don't stick to the eyes very well. Like you have to really work with them and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So we got this mixing medium and it seems to be working really well. I don't know if you can tell, but I did like a neon liner and I used this and it worked fantastic. So. So we went to Marshall's and we had never been to Marshall's before. Basically this is what happened. We were going to Ulta and forgot Ulta didn't open until 10 and we were there at like 8.45 <laughs> and we were like, shoot, I don't want to drive all the way home. So we went into Ross because I had to go to the bathroom very badly and then we went to Marshall's and we're like, sure, let's look at Marshall's. Man, did they have some cheap makeup. Um, so I got the AVH Blush Trio. This is the, what is it called? Peachy Love. Peachy Love. This is so pretty. And it was 10 bucks. You have to check and make sure things aren't swatched, but it was 10 bucks. And it's on sale right now at Ulta for 18 is the sale price. So this was a steal. I am very happy with that purchase. Um, and we also got this MAC Hyper Real Glow Kit. Um, this one is the pink one. There's no shade name on this, but these are fantastic. So they are like, I've been reaching for them a lot and that says a lot because I normally don't reach for like new highlighters like ever. I just stick with my oldies. Um, but this is bomb. She's real pretty. A real, the formula is great. I want to get the gold shade, but we got it for 20 bucks instead of like 39. Last of my Marshalls haul, I got this Stila Vivid and Vibrant Eyeshadow Duo in Sapphire. These are so cute. I wish they had the green shade, but they had the blue shade in Marshalls, and it's just these very deep blue colors. Oh, oh they are. They are so oh. spicy. I got it for $7. $7. Oh my god, $7. And then I got this Stila Glitter and Glow Shadow. This one's in the shade Into the Blue. I'll Very do a pretty. little little swatch on my hand. I've used it for some like graphic liner. It's like a purple blue duochrome shade. Very mermaidy kind of vibes. Um, but this was no no no. This was five dollars, this was seven dollars. So super cheap because these are normally like 18 or something like that. So fire. <laughs> so we did crack and buy the new ABH. Riviera palette? Yes. Is that how I pronounce it? Um, she's really, really pretty. I will say though, this is an easily dupable palette. So you don't need it if you have, say, let me pull it out. <clears throat> let me hold this for me, sweetie. So you get a very similar vibe in the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette, um, and this is 90 times cheaper. So um, you don't get all of the same shades, like you don't get the mustard shade um, or this like Mediterranean color right here. You don't get those shades, but you do get a lot of similar colors, so you don't necessarily need this, but I love ABH, I love Norvina, and all that she does for us small influencers, and the PR list that we are going to be on this weekend speaking it into existence. And Talking to you, Norvina. And if we don't make it, mind your business. I finally, I finally bought it. <laughs> Y'all know my love for the original Zodiac palette. So I got the Zodiac love signs and oh my God, she is a stunner. Oh my God, go into focus. Squeeze me. She's a stunner. 
she is a real stunner. I think this is the perfect like summer palette. So I will be doing many a look with her. I'm so excited. <laughs> also got the ABH Dip Brow Gel. This is in the shade Soft Brown. Seems to be our go-to shade for brow products is Soft Brown. Um, this has a bit of a learning curve to me. I like to wipe off the excess product because it is like very saturated. A dip brow gel. Like it's very pigmented. Um, I used it today and I, al I also used my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in... I used deep brown today actually. I don't like this in the front of my brow but I love it in like the middle to tail. Um, so yeah, if you pick this up, let me know how you like it. I'm interested to hear everybody's thoughts but it's it's a very cool product. I like it. I also did get this seal coffee mug at Marshall's. I thought you would like to. I'm so excited about it. She's, he's so cute. Um, oh, it, oh, it's a manatee? Oh. It says, oh, the humanity. <laughs> <laughs> and when we were at Ulta, we were debating between the new ABH spray and Mac Fix Plus, Mac Fix Plus 1. We each got one, so we've got two, and then Ulta's having a sale for us diamond members mac fix plus is half off for the scented ones so you know i'm getting all of them because i love mac fix plus i forgot how much i needed max fix max fix plus i spit <laughs> stop i forgot how much i needed mac fix plus in my life it's i mean because i've been using like the catrice dewy spray and like the wet and wild one and those are both fantastic don't get me wrong but they run out so quickly and MAC Fix Plus just oh, does it for me. It's so good. I love it. Last thing. From Ulta, I got the Flower Beauty In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. I decided to pick this up because we don't have a lot of drugstore primers anymore that I'm personally, like, in love with. We've been really going through primers. Like, I, I don't know. I kind of feel like I use them, like, skincare. Like, <laughs> I use a lot of them. But this one is really, really good. I just think the packaging is so cute. And I think it's it's a little bit more sturdy than I thought well, it was. It bothers me a little bit. Well, one, the flower part is on the other side. But I thought this was going to be like a... What the heck? Oh, no. I thought this was going to be... <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a click open sort of thing. But you have to like actually remove the cap. Which is like fine or whatever. But like the packaging... Picky, picky. That I just weirded me out. I just thought you were supposed to flick, squeeze, but no, you gotta twist, squeeze. It just threw me off a little bit. You can take that. And then I got, I've been wanting to try some Pacifica products. And every time I say Pacifica, I think of Rachel going Pacifically. <laughs> but I really wanted to try some of their stuff because they're a clean beauty drugstore brand. And I did not want to pick up any makeup because I don't need any more. But I did want to try their other stuff. This is the C and C, C and C, Bright Luminizing Face Lotion, Radiance and Active Hydration plus Vitamin C and C Plants, your brightest day, all skin types. <laughs> it is not too bad. It's not the most hydrating thing I've ever tried, but it does have a little bit of a glow to it. It is vegan and cruelty free for all y'all folk out there who aren't bad people like we are. And yeah, so far it's cute. I haven't tried it a lot, but it does smell very nice, which I do appreciate. Um, so Vic did pick up the Morphe, the Morphe Eyelid Primer. Um, I used it the other day. I think I like it, but it's one of those primers where if you get it, like, out here, like, if you do your eyeshadow first and you get it out here, it's gonna make your foundation be all, like, clumpy and weird. You have a hair on your tongue? Mm-hmm. Anyway, makes your foundation, like, all clumpy and weird, which is really irritating to me. Um, but I think, like, as a base, if I'm careful about where I put it, it was really nice, and I don't think my eyeshadow creased, which is the only thing I care about, honestly. Um, and then she did pick up the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This shade, I will not be touching with the 10-foot pole. However, I'm sure it will work for her. Um, I'm confused about the this shade. This is in medium peach. This looks more like... Fair. Light sand. Oh. <laughs> so, I don't really know what that's all about, but I'm I'm excited for her to try it. I'll try it when I'm pale. Yeah, I haven't tried it yet because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bust it open until I'm out of my other concealer, which is let me show you. It's very close. She's down at the nubbins right there. Can you see? <laughs> so I'm almost done with her, so I can justify that other one. <laughs> Whoa! We are orange. 
Hello! I look so tan. Stop it, no! Who is she? Have we been this dark the whole time? I don't know. Well, okay. Anyway, that completes our little our little haul. Um, if you have anything you would like us to use in a tutorial, let us know, like the palettes, wink wink, choose those. Um, and I'm sorry if we are orange, because now that we're looking in the little viewfinder, we're looking a, a, a bit bronzed, a bit Donald Trump-esque. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed, go ahead and like and subscribe to our channel and comment down below with any future video ideas or whatever you got when you broke your Nova just like us and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!